the news. <laughs> anyway, please welcome uh, to the Amish Plain pro program, long dead uh, uh, four-star uh, General George S. Patton Jr. Good morning, uh, General Patton. Good morning. Thank you very much. At ease. A lot of you people are wondering what our commander-in-chief is going to say tonight regarding strategy in Iraq. Well, I'm here to tell you people what I believe he should say. We know current strategy is not working. Will not work. Because we have failed to listen to a principal lesson of history. Simply stated, Muslims started fighting in the year of 632 A.D. They haven't stopped since. And they will not stop until induced to do so. So, President Bush can shuffle generals around from now until Mecca freezes over. But one sissy-ass general replacing another sissy-ass general gains nothing more than another rump wrangler with a shiny star who can't issue an order because he can't ask and can't tell. <laughs> Might as well have a damn gag ball in his mouth. <laughs> Which wouldn't surprise me either. Especially looking at that uh, Peter Pace pansy. Further, this idea about a troop surge had to come from a finger-pointing idiot with his head so far up his butt, he's got to open his mouth to read. <laughs> what is required, people, when fighting a people who place a higher premium on dying than living is not a surge. It is a purge. Kill them all and let Allah sort them out. And at the risk of repeating myself from a much earlier commentary, no one, people, ever won a fight by dying for his country. A fight is won by making the other sorry son of a bitch die for his country, which seems to be another lesson lost on the eggheads who are pulling our punches in their lounge chairs over at the Pentagon. Item, we have a nuclear program. The crazy bastards over there keep yammering about how they want a nuclear program. I say, let's give them one. <laughs> they are all so damned eager to be martyrs, well, by God, accommodate them. <laughs> Nothing could be more agreeable to the senses of this old soldier than the aroma of Baghdad barbecue. <laughs> let's review. The way forward in Iraq, Mr. President, is not purge. It is purge. It's not surge. I'm as dumb as he is now. Here's a question to ask your generals. What do you call a couple million Muslim fanatics bending over five times a day with their rear ends waving in the air? A target-rich environment. Do I make myself clear? Damn, I love it so. That is all. 24.